we got shoulders. I saved shoulders for you. I was supposed to do shoulders. My new split is shoulders and hams, but I saved it for you. Uh, so we have something to film today. So, and also I've been sick for so long. Um, so I did hams yesterday. I'm going to hit shoulders today. Uh, I have my pre-workout meal here. I'm going to make, I'm going to show you guys how to make this because everyone's asking me about this all the time. I post it up on my Instagram. Um, I make like a puree. I do oatmeal and chicken all blended together and people think it's gross, but it tastes amazing. But one thing I want to show you is I do a cup of oatmeal, right? before my workout. A cup of oatmeal is 54 grams of carbs. But I just wanna show you guys here, this half a cup, half a cup is 40 grams. Most people just grab it, it's kinda of overflowing. Let me show you what the difference really is. Check that out. That's 56 grams. A half a cup is supposed to be 40, right? So let's do that again. Well, let's level it off with a knife. I'm only showing you this because a lot of you guys that don't use digital scales, I wanna show you how big of a difference the measurement is. Now, if it's just lifestyle, it doesn't really matter, but if you're trying to be meticulous, I mean, who the hell does that? I don't. Oh, look at that, 42, hit it on the head. So, just showing you, like, for me, I don't just take two big scoops and throw it in to get that one cup. I measure it on the scale. Because if I did it, like, carelessly, you know, was that 90? That's too much. So a cup is 80. Sixty-seven. Eighty. So I pretty much use a scale for everything. Uh, it's more accurate. Alright, so here's here's how it goes. I like the consistency of oatmeal, consistency of oatmeal real fine. Turn on the stove, throw some water in there. I actually already have some water in there. I like it really fine, so I blend it. I blend it dry. So dry oatmeal, measured out, I blend it. By the way, this Ninja is awesome. This thing lasts forever. The motor's powerful, and these blades are legit. If you guys are listening, Ninja, send me the bill. Send me the, send me the check. I need a sponsorship. So I had like... Like 10, what is the other one called, Kabir? Uh, Nutra? Nu Nutra bullets? Nutra bullet, yeah, yeah. I had like five of those. They all broke. And I use this like four times a day sometimes. So it's real fine, you guys see. It's pretty much like oat flour, you know? If you buy oat flour, that's the consistency you get. So I throw that in there. I got my whisk. I used to call this a, a whisker. A whisker. That's wrong, right? I never heard that before. Maria, is that wrong? Whisker? Whisk. <laughs> it's a whisk. So I used to call it a whisker. I have, come take a close look here. I have, um, I put pink salt in my in all my meals. It's double the sodium. Regular salt, a quarter teaspoon is 250 milligrams, 250 milligrams of sodium. This is 540. I, uh, I put a heaping, a real big heaping teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. I got my cinnamon flavor and health benefits and i have stevia this is organic powder stevia from whole food trader joe's has the same exact one but they're more expensive at trader joe's surprisingly because usually whole foods is an expensive one all right so i mix this around i don't put a lot of water because i personally like it um really really thick turn it down a bit now here's the magic. Uh, this is my chicken, my trifecta chicken. It comes sealed like this. I leave them sealed until I need to open it. When this finishes out, I'll open that and throw it in here. I'm gonna do six ounces for this meal. And this is lightly marinated. It's got some spices and stuff. Nothing crazy, but it tastes amazing. That didn't work. I didn't clear it out. Oh. I have so many scales, I forget which side is which on them. That's five. 
six. Now, obviously, I'm making a sweet dish with cinnamon. I don't want the, the flavor of this, which is amazing, by the way. It's parsley, onion, and garlic. So what I do is I wash it. Now, if you guys make your own meals, you make your own food, and you're going to make this meal, you can just leave some chicken unmarinated, or you can actually cut up the chicken raw, really, really small, and throw it in the oven. It'll cook in there. But as long as you cook it on high heat, and you let it sit for a while, you're not going to get salmonella or, no, what is it with from poultry? Is it salmonella? Salmonella, yeah, I think that's, that's eggs though. You're not going to get sick. Yeah, yeah. So now I got the chicken in here nice and washed. I'm going to add as little water as possible. If you don't add enough, it won't, it won't really blend and then you can't get it out of this thing. My chicken was really good, by the way. You, you, you tried it. Yeah, right? I, loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. It's because it's cage free and organic. The consistency is better. I still yep. can't breathe, man, from that cold. Now, you guys can flavor this any way you want. And I know it sounds gross, but like chicken and like egg whites and stuff, it can be flavored any way you want. When I put stevia in my chicken, people are like, oh, that's weird. But you guys don't realize how many restaurants and cuisines you've had that have sugar in your dishes, you know? I pretty much got it all out, but sometimes I'll have to throw water in there. That looks good. Yeah, so this is, this is cooked, you know? The chicken's already cooked, so it's good to go. I'll just sit it in here and let it, let it, um, heat up a bit, but I actually like to cook it and then let it sit, cool down, and eat it cold. It's more filling. So, um, that's pretty much it, you know? Why do I do this? I used to eat the chicken on the side and the oatmeal. Then I was like, you know what, let me combine them. Then I chopped up the chicken and put it in there. Then I moved it to the next level and I started blending it. And I just, when you, when you diet and you eat the same thing all the time, you get really, really creative. And I also grew up in the restaurant business, so I'm pretty handy in the kitchen. Should I flex when I do that? <laughs> I feel like some YouTubers and Instagram guys are just always posing. Like, uh. Nice and classic right there. Yeah, I just don't care enough. <laughs> So that's really it. So why I do it, because one, I really, really enjoy this meal. It's really, really fun to eat. There's no like anabolic scientific reasoning behind it, but there is one plus behind this. Um, it's easy to digest. So by blending your food, by pureeing your food, making like baby food, you're skipping one, um, the first step of digestion, the first step of digestion is chewing. Why do you guys think baby food, food is puree? Because babies don't have teeth and they can't chew their food. So it's already blended up for them. It's already chewed for them. It sounds pretty gross, but the ninja bullet, um, can I say on YouTube? Hell yeah. I don't think so. Well, can you can you say that? Can you say and be monetized? Yeah, because then you, you censor it for the kids like you select it's not for kids. I don't know. We don't want to do that, so just beep it out. All right. I need to get paid for this shit. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it sits really well. And keep in mind, this is my pre-workout meal. Baby, are you ready for yours? Yeah. She does the same thing with hers. So her old meals are, it doesn't look pretty because it's been sitting here. But she blended it, made it, and then she has protein powder. Um, uh, because it just sits really, really well with her. Do you have chicken in yours as well, Maria? No, I just use the protein powder and I let it sit for like a half hour. I don't really like it too hot. Shameless plug. She has MFIT, because she's sponsored by MFIT, I'm sponsored by them. So she does MFIT, what flavor do you do? Vanilla. She does MFIT in hers, but it finished, it's, and the rest is back in her house, so she's yeah. got to use Diamantize now. That's mine. Mm. It's so good, it really is. People think it's so gross. You know, there's actually a Middle Eastern dish called Halim, it's a Persian dish. And it's like, it's not oatmeal, it's like barley and oats, which take hours to cook, and lamb, um, and like 
brown sugar and cinnamon. She always makes a mess. So, I'll, I'll it. so take a close look at this for you guys that want to do protein powder. This sat for like an hour, right? So yeah, this sat harder. for a long time. So it got, it got firmer. Um, I personally like this consistency and I like it when it's cold. One thing, like you learn a lot when you dye it, you know? But when you put the protein, look, it gets softer. So one thing, when you dye it, you learn so many things. Like, you know, you like your food warm, but what I realized when I eat my food warm, it's less filling. So I like it cold. So when I was doing this in meal one, I would make this the night before and leave it in the fridge. And it's different from overnight oats. Overnight oats, you don't have to cook it. I like it where it's cooked and it absorbs more water. So ideally, I would like to have this cooler. I'll put this in the freezer for a few minutes. But yeah, when it's, I just like it cooler. I like the consistency better. And I'm a, like a kind of fast eater, so if you give me something really hot, I don't wait till it gets cool, and I burn myself. You know you should unplug shit if you're not using them. Yeah? Yeah. It, even when things are plugged in, they're still using energy. All right, so I'm getting ready to work out. Um, this is what I do. I need the shaker. There's protein powder in the shaker. I was in the Bronx all day yesterday, <clears throat> most of the day. Um, I had to replace a boiler, so we weren't sure how long we'd be gone. So I took a meal and I just took that as a backup just in case. All right, so this is what I do pre-workout. I think this is almost finished. I diametize pre well. The reason I like this, the diametize pre workout, because I don't take pre workouts all year round, they burn you out. There's no like mumbo jumbo bullshit in it. It's just everything is listed per gram. It's not a proprietary blend. Citrulline malate, eight grams. And all the doses are adequate. And I'm not trying to sell you guys in the pre workout, just genuinely showing you what it is. Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. Altorine, 2 grams. Betanine, 1.5 grams. Arginine, 1.5 grams, tyrosine, 350 milligrams, caffeine, 300 milligrams, coconut water, and teacrine. So it's just caffeine. There's no other stimulants in it. So not that I dislike some other stimulants, but you don't want to take those all year round. They burn you out. And I had adrenal fatigue last year, so that's the last thing I want to do. So pretty much this is kind of like having a large black coffee and then all of that stuff that you're gonna take for like your pump, you know? So I'm cool with that. I just don't wanna put any like hardcore stimulants in me year round. Cause then when you need them and you're tired and prep and you wanna get leaner and you wanna take those stimulants, they're not gonna work. This is my intro workout. This is my sick corner. It's, I don't know what's going on. It's been like two weeks I've been sick. I got better now, but I finally got antibiotics and some cough medicine. I try to avoid antibiotics at all costs, but I couldn't this time. All right, so I do five grams of creatine a day. I always did five grams in my post-workout. Recently, I've been doing 2.5 in the pre-workout meal and 2.5 in my post-workout. So I'll mix this in there, or if it's really hot, I won't mix it. I'll just drink it separately. I'm really, really big on glutamine. This is micronized. You got five, 10, 15 grams of glutamine. And about half hour into my workout, I start sipping this. One huge scoop of all nine. I love all nine. It tastes incredible. They have a lot of flavors. They have cola, which is a really interesting flavor. It tastes good. It tastes like, it tastes like soda. What's your favorite one? Uh, this is Fruit Fusion Rush. I really, really like this. I think I would say between this and the watermelon. The watermelon's incredible, and I've always been a watermelon junkie. And then there's like a Jolly Green Apple. It's like Jolly Rancher. But it tastes incredible. But for you guys that don't know what all nine is, it's all nine essential aminos. So there's like 20 amino acids. Branch Chains is only three. You need all of them. And our body, uh, we don't have... The, the nine essential amino acids is the ones that we don't have, so we need to supplement with. So besides 
the three branch chains, there's six more amino acids. So you guys can take a close look. So you got your BCAAs here, 7.2 grams, which is a hearty dose, by the way. Leucine, L-leucine, L-valine, L-isoleucine, and L-valine. And then these are the six others. So together, it's the all nine essential. Shameless, shameless plugs. So, supplements. Do you need them? I'm not going to tell you to buy something because I'm sponsored by it. That's not who I am. But I will tell you what I use and what I do, and I'll be truthful about it. One thing about Dynatize, I got to say I got my work cut out for me because I don't need to sell their products. They're third-party tested, and they're the best quality, some of the best quality in the world. And I've been using it since I was a kid. When I could afford it, when I could afford good supplements, I used to buy it when I was younger. When I couldn't, I wouldn't. So that's my advice. Should you guys take supplements? If you're going to get good quality supplements, if you can afford it, yes. It's a supplementation on top of your diet and it can help you. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna, if you don't have the money and you're gonna be cheap and try to buy something cheaper, don't. Just eat food. Because cheap supplements suck, they don't work. Especially protein powder. When you guys look at the ingredients in the back of a, a protein powder, it should say, if it's isolate, it should say whey isolate. Done. Ingredients finished, besides flavoring and sweeteners. It shouldn't be a proprietary blend. It shouldn't be whey concentrate, lower quality. So my answer is if you, can, if you can get, if you have access to high quality supplements, use them. If you don't, don't use them because low quality supplements are a waste of money, a waste of time. And honestly, I wouldn't want to put that shit in my body. So you never know what's gonna, what's gonna come about. So since this is not sitting that long, and it's probably still a little warm, I'm just gonna take the creatine and water. So this is a half a teaspoon. Five grams is two teaspoons. So that's one teaspoon. I'll leave this here for post-workout. I'm gonna have another teaspoon after I work out. You no, know, this just shows how much I love you guys because I'm straining myself to talk. I like to drink my intro workout and my pre-workout really cold, so I'll throw it in the freezer until it's time to go. Random question. Yeah. Does taking a cold shower before the gym actually help? Like, does it wake you up? Just because you mentioned having a cold pre-workout shake. I've heard that. Is that true? I guess that depends on the individual. I personally like to shower before I train. So like I woke up this morning and I've been working in the house. I'm not dirty or sweaty, but I showered. We can get that next week if you want for some of the special viewers. <laughs> so <clears throat> I just like to shower just because I like to be, feel clean when I come to train. Cold showers have awesome health benefits. They can help you raise testosterone and they can help... Um, raise your metabolism so you can get leaner from cold exposure sounds crazy right you can get leaner from ice baths and cold showers but we're not talking about just a, like a cold two-minute shower we're talking about ice cold water on the back of your neck cooling your core why same reason why you need to double your calories when you're in Alaska this is a known fact if you guys go into the, the snowy mountains it's known that you need to increase calories to, to maintain because your body works harder to stay warm, right? So cold exposure will get you leaner. All things being equal, right? We're not talking about diet and training, just cold exposure. Right. Now, cold shower, will it benefit you before a workout? I don't think so. If you need it to wake up, I mean, maybe, but then you have other problems if you can't wake up on your own or some caffeine. And to be honest with you, I mean, a cold shower, an hour, hour and a half before your workout, it's not gonna affect you negatively, but the last thing you wanna do right before you work out is be cold. Right. That's why we warm up. Okay. okay. 
So even all this little residue, when I'm in prep, I find a way to get that shit out. I usually like, after I eat, I'll take my time, head over to the gym. Within one hour, I'll start training. You know, I, I go based on how I feel. Like my stomach, are you sh your stomach shouldn't be full. You don't want to be uncomfortable. And also, you guys have to understand, when you eat, blood goes to your stomach to digest. You start working out, blood goes to the muscles. So it's like, where do you want, you know, you don't have that much blood flow where you're gonna be digesting and getting a pump and training at the same time. So you want to do one, and not the other. You guys wanna see what's in my gym bag? Let's do it. It's a big ass bag. Before we head out, can I also, well I'll ask you later, but what exactly is that thing hanging That here? thing, you can show them. So, this little thing tied up to the, so you know, what is that? I put two hooks in there, and don't think like, oh you guys don't have beams in your house. In your ceiling there's beams, so if you find the beam, you can get a beam finder and put in a hook. I put those two hooks in there, they hold like 300 pounds each, and I use that for the leg raises, you know, the two straps in the gym? Yep. I have those in here and I do leg raises, <laughs> but this is just a stretching strap, nothing fancy. And I just had the idea the other day of just putting this up to just stretch my upper body. Because I use this strap <clears throat> to stretch like my legs, you pull your quads and stuff, but I never really use it um, unless it's hooked onto something for, for, uh, for upper body. So this is lat, tricep, chest, chest and bicep here a little bit of shoulders it feels like everything actually and i'll even link put my feet into it turn around do all different types of shit so stretching is important okay so i used to not have a gym bag and like i would bring the shit that i needed for that given day but then sometimes i would need something and i didn't have it so i started carrying a gym bag like I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago. In this pocket, I have my straps, the Arashra bar, my wrist stuff, my wrist, my weight straps, and these. I rarely ever use these, but like if I'm doing forearm work, which I gotta start doing, I haven't done them in, in a couple of years because of my brachioradialis injury type of deal I had. And this side is my knee wraps, again, Arashra Bar knee wraps, Classic Kings. Depending on my outfit, I have both colors. No, I'm just kidding. The, the grips I love. I've used the grips. The weight straps. The weight straps. Yeah, Those are really good. I will do a close-up of them later. Yep. My Beats headphones and then a backup. These are with wire just in case my battery dies because that's happened. Um, some sh like PT, like therapy, rubber band type of stuff. A bunch of small towels. Usually use these in prep because I'm drenched in sweat. I don't use them too much in the off season. Um, that's it. I have like a suction cup in here. Where's the clicker? It's a TD bank pen. So I used to. You don't like TD banks? So I used to take. No, it's probably. It's probably been in there for like five years. Oh, here's a clicker. <laughs> so you could buy this on Amazon for like a couple bucks and you can buy this for your cell phone. And I would suction cup this to the mirror and take my selfie pictures, my, pro my progress pictures myself with this, with this clicker. Maybe you wanted this clicker, right? For two. Yeah, please. And you took the tripod? No. So if you guys take a tripod and a clicker, you can take pictures of yourselves, you know, or even, even video. If it's on video mode, you just hit it, it starts, you hit it, it stops. You just gotta connect this Bluetooth to your phone. Thank you. So that's my bag. Is this my water? Did I just put this from there to there? So put my water in here. My pre, my intro. Yeah.